messing around going a little viral today of Tate uh, Rodemaker answering a question about playing at Valdosta and playing in front of a big crowd. So the question you really can't hear because the audio is shit. FSU, they don't have much going on. Like the, the facilities are, are very poor there. So it's hard to hear what people are asking questions. But he the question is, and I'll kind of phrase it the best that I can, and then I'll try to reiterate it once we come back. Essentially saying, hey, you played at Valdosta, which is a big-time high school, right? You played in some big-time crowds. How do you think that's going to translate for you playing now in big-time uh, you know, college? Which Steve kind of you know, alluded to. This is Steve's idea. I don't want to hurt his feelings here. It might mute us. Uh, just a moment ago, that they're not going to mention anything Florida Gators or anything Swamp, obviously, during hate week. So I think this was their way of asking, like, hey, how do you – how do you believe you will be able to handle playing in front of a big time crowd like the Swamp, although the Swamp was never mentioned? And here's what Tate had to say. Growing up in such a football town, playing for a school like Valdosta, do you feel like that upbringing kind of helped prepare you for some of the pressures of the college level? Yeah, I think playing in front of 14,000 fans every Friday was it was really a, a it, it helped set up this. So it's it's a lot easier. If I was if I was playing in front of like a thousand fans, it would, it would probably be a lot more different. But I feel like that it's not a big, not a big change. So, okay, Steve. <laughs> I mean, I, I get what he's saying, right? Because again, Valdosta, that stadium is actually pretty insane. Like I, I remember watching on the show, but that's not. A, there's no way it's a high school stadium. It's it, it, it competes with Vanderbilt Stadium. Okay, like it probably gets just as rowdy as Vanderbilt, and so high school kids get a little rowdy. To can say that fourteen thousand, you know, equates to a, a college stadium, I think it's a bit aggressive. But I get where he's coming from. Again, he played in some big time games and a lot of pressure, and, and playing in a, in, a, in a high school town like Valdosta isn't the easiest. It's not like playing here in Bad Pedro in St. Augustine, right? It's <laughs> it, it, it has a it's, it's definitely a gauntlet. But to try to compare it to playing in a collegiate level. It's a bit of a stretch, for sure. But I understand where he's coming from. But I don't know. I, again, I, I tweeted. I said Mass Har because I fourteen thousand to ninety thousand. That's like fourteen thousand to one thousand, right? That's the same kind of variance. So sure, you played in front of fourteen thousand, and you know eleven of the thousand of those were were moms and grandmas. Uh, now you're gonna play in front of ninety thousand. Uh, half of that being uh, delusional college kids. The other half being delusional. Uh, old guys and uh, drunken uh, assholes. So it's a much more hostile environment than I would say Valdosta High School. Uh, Steve, how do you defend your, uh, your your QB1 here? Well, one, you said the, the 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 sound going into the question was difficult because of some weird idea. But he actually specifically said you played in Valdosta. <laughs> so he referenced Valdosta too. Look, it's Florida Hate Week at FSU too. Uh, they're playing, they're blaring uh, your stupid thing that you stole from Jaws, your dumb gator chomp thing. They're blaring that, but they will not in any way, shape or form speak of anything that would, that would benefit or promote, you know, Florida. Like they're just, he's going to say all day, every day, like, yeah, Valdosta was a tough environment. Yeah. He left out the fact that he came in on a Thursday night against Louisville, you know, in a rain game and won that, you know, but again, sure. that's just hate week. He's I not going to give you the I think, I think playing in front of 14,000, he's definitely more prepared to play at hard rock against Miami. Right. That's definitely the, the equivalent. Oh, he could walk into that and feel like, you know, he, honestly, maybe, think, maybe he would play down to the crowd. That, that could be, maybe that's yeah. what Miami's doing. Maybe we're onto something here. Maybe that's what Miami's doing in the long game. Maybe they're getting these, high level quarterbacks who are used to playing in front of big crowds to come to Miami and they have such a mundane, quiet, it's just a just a library style of college atmosphere to the point where they will lull that quarterback to sleep. Maybe sure. we're not seeing it. Maybe that's the game. 